Hi, I'm Karen. Welcome to another video. Today I'm sharing with you my bronzer collection. Now I'm not planning to do a declutter. That is not my plan. My plan is to show you my bronzers. I have powder bronzers and cream bronzers and stick bronzers. So I am planning to show you all of my bronzers. If there is a bronzer that needs to be decluttered, it will be decluttered. But this is not the main purpose of this video. I just want to share with you my bronzers. I have everything in my Alex and in my Alex I have a bean of bronzers and two bronzing palettes. These are palettes of bronzers. Okay, so let's get started. Before we do, I welcome everyone that is new to my channel and I really hope that you will consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. Now let's start. Let's start with the palettes. I have two palettes. First of all from, wait, well, my hair is not a part of it, from BH Cosmetics. This is the Belgian Waffle. That reminds me a lot of the Belgian Waffle that I had when I was last time in Belgium. That was the, the most delicious waffle I ever ate in my entire life. Hmm. In Brussels. That was amazing. It was very close, if I can remember, close to the main square in Brussels. Um, that's what I remember. If you want, let me know and I will look for the exact name of the place. But this is by BH Cosmetics. There, are, I was talking about the waffle, not about the bronze, the Belgian waffle. Oh my god, this video is going downhill. Okay, bronzer by BH Cosmetics. It has a nice mirror. Oh, that was funny. Okay, so I'm going to swatch them for you. It starts with buttermilk, which is... I don't know why they call it a bronzer. But it's very, very light. Then we have butter. Which is darker. Now you can see that. And we have cinnamon. which is the darkest. What does it say? Six color baked bronzer and highlighter palette. Okay, so it's half bronzers, half highlighters. So we'll ignore the highlighters and these are the bronzers. Okay, that was from BH Cosmetics. I haven't bought anything from BH Cosmetics lately. I don't think there are you know, since they were purchased, I don't think they have published anything. Nothing new from BH Cosmetics for a very long time. Okay, next up from Be Perfect. This is the Shape Shifter. So this one also has a nice mirror to it. And these are very dark shades. So we have two super soft under eye highlighting powders, which are these two here. And then we have four cool and warm toned contour shades. They don't look like contour. Contour needs to be, at least for me, a bit more gray. So I use them as bronzers. Okay, let's swatch them. First one is Sun Balm. Let's see, Sun Balm, which is light for me. Um, here. Okay, Sun Balm. Next up is Elio, I hope. Elio. If you can do stranger names, let me know. Elio. And then we have Bae Watch. 
are these names supposed to mean? I guess they mean something to someone. And the last one is the darker one, which is Park, which is a very strange name for this dark shade. <sighs> Spark. Spark is a name for highlighter, in my opinion at least. So these are the four bronzers from the Be Perfect here. Okay, so these are the two palettes that I have, which are mainly bronzers. I have other palettes, but they don't have a lot of bronzers, so I excluded them from this video. Now, I really need to wash my hand and wash this. Okay. We'll get back to, we'll just, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> what's going on guys? Where's who will be today? Well, I'll show you in a minute what I have on my face today. That's what I wanted to say. You know what? Let's do the other hand and then I'll go wash. Okay. I have three from Physician Formula. Three. I don't like the packaging, I have to say, because it's so bulky and it takes a lot of space and I'm not using, you know, there's, it doesn't have a mirror, they all look like that, I'll show you the original one, they all look like that, this is the butter bronzers, and they all look like that, there's the bronzer, and then there's the mirror, in a hidden compartment with the, there's a sponge or a brush, I don't use the sponge or brush, so I don't really need that bulkiness of a package, but it is what it is. Okay, so this is the butter bronzer. The shade is bronzer, very original shade. This is the original shade. And let's swatch it on my other hand. So this is the, okay, here. This is bronzer. And then we have Butter Donut. This is Butter Donut. Let's just swatch that as well. Kind of use that a lot. As you can see, the pattern of the donut is disappeared. And the last one is the Butter Coffee. which is really nice it looks like this by the way the pattern has completely been erased and I think I almost bought another one of the coffee but just because of the pattern okay but it's kind of ruined really really quickly so these are the three shades as you can see one and two which is the original butter bronzer and the donut bron butter bronzer these two are very similar and the uh, butter coffee is darker so these are by physician formula look at my hands and my legs are filled with bronzers okay from essence i think i have just this one yeah, I have just this one from Essence. This is Hello Good Stuff Matte and Glow Bronzer. Nourishing with Cocoa. This is in the shade 20. So this is by Essence. Very affordable. It has two shades, but I usually just swirl them together with the brush. So let's try and take from this shade here, which is a different shade here it's very light and then from the darker one this is why I like combining them so this is by Essence okay now, from e.l.f. also, I think I have only one. Yeah, I think only one. This is, no, this is from Anastasia. Okay, so e.l.f. 
is just it doesn't have a name as you can see but this is their putty bronzers no 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 this was the primer infused bronzers mine is in the shade forever sunkist I don't know why they don't have shed names, but as you can see, I almost finished it. Large pan, but we can take from the sides and swatch. Of course, we can do that. And it's just, you can see, can hardly see it. The very, very light bronzer. Next up from NARS. This is Nars Laguna. This is a mini of Nars Laguna. Let's just put it a bit closer. Let's take a clean finger. Let's see the Laguna next to the S next to the Elf. Okay, this is the Laguna. Yeah. looks almost the same as the elf right swatch anyways let's do that again let's take from the swatch but this one it looks on my finger this finger I'll try and zoom you in it looks a bit of shine there is a shine that goes away when I'm swatching it so they are different but on the swatch they don't, they kind of look the same. Okay, let's clean my fingers a bit. I think that's necessary. Just cleaned it with my sponge. <laughs> I forgot to bring something to clean, but they are clean. Next up from Juvia's Place. This is the only bronzer from Juvia's Place that I have. This is called Bronzed in the shade Medium. This one also has a very large mirror it has two shades as you can see warm and cool let's start with the warm one it's very very warm yeah and a cool one yeah this is it Place. These are all the ones that I swatched. This one is the most is the darkest of them all so far at least. Okay, let's clean my fingers a bit with the sponge. I'm going to clean it anyways later. Now Anastasia Beverly Hills. I forgot to use this bronzer. This is a powder bronzer in the shade Rosewood. I bought it a long time ago. Oh, now I remember why I didn't use it. <laughs> it broke. There was a gap in the middle here. I hit pan and all of this was full in the here at the edges. And when I used it last, everything kind of broke into little pieces. But it's not going to stop us from swatching it. So let's swatch it. Now I remember why I stopped using it. <laughs> okay, this is it. This is... Uh, you have to say that most of them are practically the same. This is very very warm by Juvia's Place. And this is very dark by Physician Formula. But all the others are pretty similar. That means I have a very similar taste in bronzers <laughs> this is by Ofra this is the Ofra bronzer versatile matte this one I have for a very long time I haven't used it for a while okay this is Ofra same you know very very similar to all the others, very creamy, very easy to apply, very buttery, love it as well. Okay, now I have two, oh this is also from Afra, 
oh no this is bh cosmetics this is bh cosmetics i have a single bronzer as well this one is in the shade brilliance bronze oh no it's called brilliance bronzer in the shade coco Cuti. oh i haven't used that one for a very very long time as i said i haven't bought anything from bh cosmetics for a long time i don't know why they stopped you know producing new things i only get on my instagram existing products that i already have so this one is from bh cosmetics you can definitely see that it is darker than the others very similar to the physician formula okay maybe i can swatch a bit more here i clean my fingers with my sponge okay now let's see now I have from Wet n Wild two shades of the same bronzer. These are Color Icon bronzers. So I have two. One is in the shade What Shady Beaches and this one is Ticket to Brazil. Let's start with Ticket to Brazil. If I'm not mistaken, I repressed it. It broke and i repressed it and i hit pan yeah okay okay this other side so this one is very orangey you go as you're going to see very very orangey very light not really my shade too light for me so then i bought what oh this one sorry this one broke and i had to fix it not the other one this one I remember one of them broke so this one is definitely darker you can see we can hardly see it I almost swatched on top of it and this one is a very beautiful shade one of the most beautiful ones in my collection and I haven't used it for a long time and it's a good thing we're doing this video okay now this these are cream brushes we'll do them separately Let's go, okay, now I have this Hula by Benefit. This is a tiny mini Hula by Benefit. So this is a small one. I don't like the box because it is a mini and the box is also a mini. It's so hard to, you know, take the brush and swirl it inside. So. I haven't used that for a long time. Oh, I'm taking the wrong finger, the wrong hand. Okay, so let's try and get something out. My battery is almost dying. So let's see, Hula bronzer. Very light shade, as you can see. Very, very light, but very, very creamy. So I like the, the okay, I have it here also on this finger. So let's watch it here as well very very light and as i said it's very hard to take the large let's take a bronzer brush you know it's it's not I, it's too small this one is not a good idea to buy as a mini in my opinion okay what else i have here which is a powder Hopefully my battery will last. This, what is, this is what I have on my face. This is by Nabla. This is the skin bronzing in the shade Soft, Re Soft Revenge. This is dark. This is really dark. As you will see in a minute. This is very, very dark. Yeah, definitely. But I love it. This is what I have on. You see, it's not that dark. <sighs> okay, what else? I have this one. This is by Yana Provis. This is in the shade. This is called Dodge and Burn Bronzer. This is in Golden Earth. Okay, this is a bit dark as well. This is a bit dark as well it came in a box so i couldn't choose the shade this is very very dark 
but not as dark as the Nabla. But on my face, the, the Yana is definitely darker than the Nabla. I don't know how to explain it, but on my face, the Yana is definitely uh, more intense than the Nabla. Maybe it's more pigmented and the Nabla is less pigmented. Maybe this is the reason. Now, I have only... Oh, I have last one. Last one battery died so I took the opportunity and cleaned my hands next powder one before last is the newest one from iconic London this is called light and glow duo it's a duo of a light bronzer and a highlighter and of course we're going to swatch the bronzer so let's watch the bronzer. Okay, this is very, very pigmented as you can see. But this one on my face is not so pigmented. So it's pigmented in the swatch, but on my face it is not as pigmented. I need to check and I, I can't even understand why that happens. Next one is from Everyday Minerals. I bought a minis. This one is in the shade Bronze the Day Away. Whew, that one is a huge mess. Let's try and pick up something. This is a powder in a in a powder shape. A shape? No. This is a powder, a loose powder. Sorry. This is a loose powder. This is it. This is very dark, but I really like it. It's dark and it's more visible than this one. The iconic London is very sheer on the face. I don't know. It's very strange because the as you can see. The swatch is very dark. So these are all the powders that I have. Next up are creams. Let's see what creams I have. Now this one from LA Girl, it's not a bronzer. It's a concealer, but it's a dark shade. It's called Beautifully Bronze and it's so dark, I use it as a bronzer. It comes like this. I don't really like this tip, but Look at that. Well, I'm crooked, but <laughs> if you have a straight, if you're able to create straight lines, then definitely I use it here to contour and I love it. I think it is a very good product. I really love LA Girl products. Now, I have two from Soul Body, a sister company of ColourPop. Now, I have one that is in the shade medium and this one is newer so this is why it's in the box this one is in dark so I have it in two shades medium and dark let's see medium now I love the scent of it and if you buy this always keep the cap because otherwise it will dry wow that feels like you're in a beach somewhere exotic beach okay very very creamy because it's a cream bronzer okay look at that this is medium and for some kind of reason I thought this is not dark enough for me maybe that was in last summer I don't really remember where is it oh here it is so I got dark same thing with this don't throw it away this is the shade this is very very deep so medium let's try and make it beautiful medium and deep no, don't ask why. I don't know why. I have no idea why I wanted the deep. The medium is definitely enough for me. I don't need the deep, but I have the deep. 
so I'll use it I guess I have a bronzer from Colourpop on the way a matte bronzer okay last two this one is relatively new in my collection this is by Catrice this is holiday skin serum bronzer with coconut water this one is in the shade 010 escape to the beach now this is perfect because I really want to go and escape to the beach right now this is the shade it's going to be very pale next to the deep by Colourpop I guess and it's very sheer as you can see maybe no I'll do something let's clean that it didn't turn out okay so let's just leave a gap and this is it this is by Catrice and the last one last but not least from Milk Makeup another mini this is their this is in the matte bronzer stick in the shade baked okay baked so from here are the cream bronzers all of these are cream bronzers so as you can see I have more powder bronzers and cream bronzers but this is it this is baked Catrice these two are Colourpop LA Girl that was Everyday Minerals and this was Iconic London well this is it these are all the bronzers that I have I have more bronzers in palettes so you know I decided you know if there is only one bronzer in a palette then I'm not going to show it now there is anything that I want to get rid of I have to be honest with you I thought maybe there will be one that I will want to declutter but there isn't so I'm not going to declutter anyway anything I didn't title this video declutter I didn't announce it in the declutter at the beginning this is just my bronzer collection and this is what left of it because everything else I washed okay I know that I had a lot of fun swatching these bronzers let me know if you enjoyed that as well did you like to see my bronzer collection I really did have a lot of fun I love swatching I don't know why I really like swatching <laughs> as I said I have a new bronzer on the way from Colourpop so it will join my family I need to find room for it here because this box is getting too small especially for these chunky packages okay if you enjoy this video don't forget oh don't forget to give this video a thumbs up yeah that's nice <laughs> thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it subscribe to my family here on YouTube and hit the uh, subscribe button and then the notification bell okay let's do the f do that again if you're new to my channel consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell and that way you'll be notified whenever I'm uploading a new video hmm oh these are beautiful so i have here yes, because you saw all the colors of the rainbow well not all but a lot of the bronzers uh, lots of different shades lots of similar shades lots of two dark shades <laughs> that does work you know even if you buy a shade that is too dark it's still you can still work on it you can just I take, take a sponge with a bit of concealer or a bit powder you know you can do you can work on it and you don't have to throw it away you can use it and if it's too light for you then just build it on pack more and more and more and that is also an option like this video if you enjoyed it subscribe and I will catch you all in my next video bye